Good day, folks. Everything new under the sun. And this is, uh, well, I've got a couple of articles uh, for today. Saturday, June 24th. I don't normally do videos on Saturday. Um, I've kind of been uh, not doing videos on Saturday, just taking a break and kind of uh, getting ready for the, the larger Sunday prophecy video, whatever it, whatever it would be. But I saw these uh, out this morning uh, while I was checking my uh, morning cup of joe, not uh, horn of Zeth like uh, Bix Weir. Just my regular cup of joe. I actually uh, um, purchase my own organic fair trade beans. I roast them and I grind them so they're all freshly freshly roasted and ground by myself. So that's even better than Horn of Zeus. ZeroHedge.com FEMA is preparing for a solar storm that would take out the grid. You don't say. And I thought they were worried about EMPs and, and all these other things. Now, it seems they are preparing. Now, uh, FEMA does need to prepare for all situations, not necessarily that they're going to happen. But, uh, again, interesting that um, they're worried about um, a solar storm, um, something similar to the Carrington event, which happened in the uh, late 1800s, I believe it was. I forget exactly when. And basically, the um, the uh, it was like an electromagnetic pulse from the sun, and it basically fried all transmission lines and uh, th therefore anything connected to it and that could easily happen again because <clears throat> because our grids are all interconnected in North America and um, there's wires going everywhere just waiting for an electromagnetic pulse of some sort to happen and uh, this is this is also likely preparing also for an EMP attack to you know if they're getting prepared for a solar storm then uh, an EMP attack would be uh, somewhat mitigated as well so FEMA is planning for a massive solar storm that would be so strong it would take down the power grid. Noting that the rare yet high consequence scenario has the potential for catastrophic impact on our nation and FEMA's ability to respond. According to unpublished FEMA documents obtained by Government Attic, a Freedom of Information Act database and nonprofit organization, the Homeland Security Agency once mapped out disaster plan for the occurrence of another geomagnetic superstorm like the one that occurred in 1859. That would be the Carrington event that I was speaking of. <clears throat> Back then, the sun flung a giant plume of magnetized plasma out into space. The coronal mass ejection, CME, as the sibling of the massive solar flare, traveled the 93 million miles between the sun and the earth in only 17.6 hours. Today, it's known as the Carrington event. It is remembered by the largest geomagnetic storm in history of recorded space weather. No other storm has matched its speed or magnitude. And uh, I, I think uh, this this sort of event is what would take us back to um, the days before electricity, the days before cars, the days before electronics. And so I read verses in, um, in the Bible about um, armies riding horses and uh, blood up to the horses' bridles and all these what seem like outdated um, uh, tech, what seems like outdated text. Um, not recognizing tanks and the, the the modern weaponry that we have now. Well, it could be that the Bible is true. It could be that the world gets hit with a massive uh, solar flare. And uh, we do not have technology anymore. Wouldn't that throw the world into war? And wouldn't that make the uh, verses of the Bible come alive? And maybe we are truly battling on horses uh, with with swords and shields. Uh, just as uh, as it describes, or is it uh, just an illustration? And the and the people of the Bible uh, are trying to um, trying to describe something that happens in our modern day with uh, tools of warfare that they know. It's it's hard to say. But again, um, when we decide to take the Bible literally, often it's uh, it, we we find out that it is true uh, in the literal sense uh, more often than not. So wouldn't it be interesting if uh, if the future of the world uh, did have one of these things occurring and we actually were back to horses and uh, swords and shields uh, for battle in the Middle East and in the final uh, <clears throat> in the final warfare but when the shockwave of accelerated particles arrived September 1859 the disturbances uh, to Earth's magnetosphere and uh, I should uh, mention watch um, BP Earth watch he's got interesting stuff on the magnetosphere and that it's uh, the solar winds are pushing inside the, the the magnetosphere of the earth is uh, pushing inside the satellite belt leaving the satellites open to uh, potential uh, harm the disturbances to earth's magnetosphere was so great that the telegraph communications across europe and north america were on the fritz spark leaped from the telegraph infrastructure and machinery 
and machinery was so inundated with electrical currents that operators were able to transmit messages while disconnected from power. There was, they were energized just by the power coming in from the sun. Compasses even wiggled, and brilliant auroras were reportedly seen as far south as the Caribbean. But that doesn't mean the ill-equipped government isn't preparing for in the inevitability. In fact, they are. Despite our superior ability to predict these events, the stakes are exponentially higher in our in a modern, uh, hyper-connected world. Absolutely, FEMA predicts that the geomagnetic storm of this intensity would be catastrophic, uh, or would be a catastrophe in slow motion. Absolutely. <clears throat> and how many people are uh, unprepared for this? How many people don't have um, food, water, and even the smallest amount of you know energy uh, generating equipment? Possibly even, you know, could this wipe out solar panels? It may even wipe out solar panels and other um, equipment. It's hard to say really what it would take out. Um, the only real way to protect against it is to have all your electronics in a Faraday cage of some sort. And uh, so that, that is one option, um, but obviously not many people have Faraday cages. For example, an event causing radio blackout, solar ra uh, radiation storms, and geomagnetic storms would be abnormal. Yet the ripple effects on the power grid and communications would severely limit FEMA's uh, ability to respond to a nationwide crisis. Within 20 minutes of a CMA's occurrence, FEMA estimates that 15% of satellite fleet would be lost due to solar damage. Low-orbiting satellites such as the Irid Iridium and Global Star may be less affected. Cellular service would be dis disrupted and the loss of GPS capabilities could complicate FEMA operations. Should a storm of this magnitude hit, there wouldn't be much the government can do. Uh, that means you are left to your own devices. You are left to your, um, <clears throat> what is it, beans, bullets, and, and uh, beans, bullets, and what's the other one? Anyways, you'd be left to yourself with, the, with your guns in the, in the U.S. and your food that you have in storage. And uh, that would be all you had at this day and time. This would be uh, truly push us into the uh, uh, time before technology. Individuals would need a band together to help things <clears throat> get back online, but it would all take time. Those in heavily populated areas or regions would be hit hardest, and evacuation of over 100 million people would be impossible. This is why you need to be not not necessarily a quote prepper, uh, because there's lots of ideas that go along with that. But you need to be prepared with what's going to happen in these end times. Marts, men's hearts are going to fail them for uh, things that are coming upon the earth, and this could be one of them. And so you need to be prepared. You need to know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, first of all. Then you need to be prepared for food and water to provide for your neighbors in times of trouble. And you need to be prepared uh, for uh, crazy things. We've uh, lived so easily in North America over the last 100, 150 years even um, that we have no idea what the wet rest of the world deals with. and We have no idea what's coming upon us. The end times are, are coming upon us, and it's, it's an exciting time to be alive because we, we're going to see some amazing uh, biblical events, uh, uh, biblical proportion events uh, coming upon us. I'll leave it there. Thanks for watching. Well, we'll put the description, or we'll put the link in the description, and uh, see you guys in the next video.